In this ex example, we are required to find the reverse complement strand of this DNA molecule of the single strand that we have. And then we also need to find out the percentage of purine bases that this molecule contains. So how are we going to do the, uh, the, num the, the reverse complement? So first of all, let's write down the complement strand. This is not the reverse complement. We do that in a minute. So the complement strand would be just simply T pairs with A. We've got an A here. We've got C, 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 A, C, A, G, A, T, A, T, T, A. We've got a C here. We've got a G here. A, T, A. T, C, G, A, and that would be our five prime end. And by convention, we usually write DNA from the five prime end to the three prime end. So we would write now for our sequence, for the complement strand, this would be an A, G, C. Let's write this down. A, G, C. So I'm basically reading it in this direction. Then we have T, A, T. That's this part. We have A, G, C. A, G, C. We have A, T, T. A, T, T. Then we have ATA, that brings us to this point here, ATA. We have GAC, GAC, ACC, that brings us to here, ACC, and then we have CAT. And we have our three prime end. So that would be the reverse complement of this strand. And that is how we would usually write it. Uh, now to the second part, we need to figure out what is the percentage of purine bases in this molecule. And we know that purine bases have a double ring system and they are the A's and the G's that we have. Now we can calculate the total number of bases. We can do that. So that would be one, two, three, four. That is a total of 24. And we calculate the number of A's and G's. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got twelve of the twenty-four bases are pure bases, and if we want to express that as percentage, so percentage of purines, this would be twelve divided by the total number, that will be 12 divided by 24, and that gives us exactly 50%. So I hope this makes sense, and thank you very much for watching.